we are going to create a lightning web component with help of this trailhead modules so just you need to follow these three steps and you will have your first lightning web component in first step just you need to sign up a new developer edition or for spring 19 pre-release if you have already pre-release development org then that's good otherwise go on this link and sign up your developer edition now login as a system admin go to setup and type dev hub when you will be click here this page will be open and you have option to enable dev hub from here so now i have already enabled it so it's showing enable go back and we all know cli if you have already cli installed then skip one and two and if you have not cli then download from the links as per your operating system once you will install cli then very important thing is that you need to upgrade the plugin with these version at least so now open the command prompt after installation of cli and you need to execute this command since i have already executed this command so now i am going to use this command sfdx plugins sfdx plugins so you can see the salesforce dx version is 45.0.9 pre-release if you found minimum than this then go and execute this command and again check this satisfied version now we have done with this setup go ahead for setup visual studio code steps many developers have already these tools so that's a good thing if you have not then download from here this is a link of visual studio code you need to install it and then open visual studio code here click on this icon type salesforce extensions pack yeah this one you have option to install it if you have already installed then you can reload from here you have reload button and currently we can see disable and uninstall means we are good we have already this version installed now lightning web component so yes it's searching and you can see here it is lightning web components just same thing you need to install it or if you are already installed then there is option for reload it reload it and now we are good here with this step it means we have completed our step to set up visual studio code with this extension now you can check just go and restart then close this window and rest, uh, you can execute this case code and open again now control shift p type sfdx you will see this command that means yes our extension and this vs code setup is successful for lightning web component now i am moving to this final steps of this trailhead module where we have to create our first lightning wave component back on VS code control shift P on window and you can see we have option of command shift P on MacBook so control shift P type SFDX create project enter this command it will ask you project name just i am going to put lwc demo recording 
okay it will ask you a desired location so just choose any of your folder and create project so we have uh, created uh, a project for a start with this lightning web component so just give it a few minutes okay now again control shift p here we have option create a default scratch org okay before this just go with the authorize or dev hub click here so that we can Okay, your dev hub. You can find these steps here as well. Okay, your dev hub. What we're going to do? Just it will open a login window of Salesforce. We need to log in with our privilege edition username and password. So this one was my privilege uh, or username of Spring 19. So type the password. Okay, it will prompt you on permission to allow access to a connected app. Then go and uh, click accept for the, that permission. I have already given earlier. Uh, so it was just skipped here. Back on this VS code. And you can see a message login is success and you may now close this browser. Okay, go ahead. Now, we need to create our default as patch org. Enter. Keep it by default. You can rename or just leave it default. Expiration date is, seven, uh, date is seven here. You can change it or leave it seven. So, okay. Now, a sketch org is creating. this step so we'll get a success message here once it will be created it will take some time good now you can see a default sketch or successfully ran here is your sketch or ID. So, and here is your username. Wow. So now time for create our first lightning wave component in this sketch or again, control shift P. Yes. SFDX. You can see create lightning wave component. Enter this command. Keep this directory default and now it is your desired file name. Let's say hello web component. Command executed successfully and here is Hello world component dot html just starting template tag and closing template tag hello web component dot chase and meta dot xml for this sample demo just turn on our tail head module copy this sample code of html now paste it here just nothing we are giving a hello and getting message save it copy hello world dot js file copy it and i'm going to put it in our js file for following memo uh, following naming convention you can keep your own name here as well otherwise it's good Save it. 
and now copy this dot xml file replace this and save it once you will view this code it's very easy to understand okay now time to push these changes in our newly created sketch or just control shift p how you fill this in a sfdx colon post source to default sketch org wow so now our changes is going to post in default sketch org we have created recently now i'm looking for success message here let's see yeah that's good post source to default sketch org successfully ran now it's time to review our changes control shift p here is sfdx open default org if you are not seeing this then type sfdx open default org execute this command so now our sketch org will be open in our browser window command in running here nice you can see a uh, new browser window has been opened and it's loading our sketch org you can say <laughs> spring 19 logo and now yes, i'm going to switch and sales app We all know here we have edit page option. Click here. Here in custom, you can say hello web component. Just we have created, drag it and on top. Yes, save it, activate, assign a def org default, save. Save it and now go back. Reload this page. And wow, here is our first lightning wave component in this sketch org. Just let her have fun. Enter your name. So you can see this change is here. Okay. So now time to do some minor changes. Go back to code. In HTML, I also want another section. Email and say email. Create a new input text. Label is email. This one here is called email and change email handler. Save it. Now in JS, I'm just going to copy and paste this code. Uh, save default uh, variable email equal to demo at uh, demo.com something now we, we have uh, change email handler so yes it will change email handler and we start email equal to that's great save it okay now i want to add a minor css so just p class equal to c for sample blue color for css create a new file save it as your component name uh, hello web component now so control s hello web component dot css and 
and we have class blue clip. So write your CSS here. Okay, save it. Now just it's, it's easy to push these changes in our SSH or just control safety push source to default at scratch org execute this command it's running our changes is going to reflect and our scratch org yes so you can see successful message here just go in your scratch org again and refresh it If you see no changes, then no issue, replace again. Sometimes you know, um, it's browser page. Yeah, here is our changes. In blue color, we have on another section. Just type something. Yes, and Enter your name. Okay, so now what you need more, just go and create your interesting component, interesting functionality in this component, and just post your changes in default stage or and test this functionality. So we have done with this third module. Don't forget to earn your point. And now, thank you very much. Bye-bye.